tick, tick, tick. In this episode of These Scattered Memories, we'll be discussing a brand new short, which has seen increasing performance and risen to the most popular short on Stretch Limbs channel. And this is where it really starts to get interesting because up until this point, we had a very slow growth on release, plateau, a high jump, three subscribers, plateau, high jump, five more subscribers. And so now I'm starting to wonder, do I release another short or do I let the Reggie return short? Just keep doing what it's doing. Oh, park boy. Hello, how are you? Welcome. We are almost at the park. We are almost at the park. Your favorite place. Park, 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 park. Oh yeah. Here we are. Immerman Memorial Park. Codex favorite place. Park, park, park. Who's there? No one's here today. Looks like you get to play in the fresh mulch. And I get to analyze the metrics of our YouTube channel. Be right back. Coder, 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 Coder boy, look what I got. Hello. Hello. Yeah, woo, 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 woo. Woo, woo, woo. What up, though, and welcome back to these scattered memories. My name is Stretch Limbs, and my faithful companion Hobbles the Monster is currently enjoying the park. Last episode here on these scattered memories, I shared with you what we learned while gaining 500 subscribers on YouTube, where I outlined three strategies that are going to help you retain audience growth in pursuit of the YouTube Partner Program. And then again, I'll place that episode as an end card. So after this episode, please go ahead, give that a watch and a like if you've not done so already. Here on this channel, I teach you how to be a masterful video editor and landscape photographer by taking you right along on the journey as we study the textures of America's most impactful cityscape architecture, national and state parks from Michigan and beyond. Complementary to documenting the adventures of Stretch Limbs and Hobbles the Monster here on my own YouTube channel, I'm also analyzing the performance and metrics in YouTube Studio and updating you along the way with the best tips and strategies that I am discovering. Even if you're not into photography, cinematography, the Adobe Creative Suite, script writing, like so many of us in this audience are, can apply these same techniques to grow your own YouTube channel with a subject matter that more closely aligns with your own heart. So whether that means that you're passionate about health, yoga, science, innovation, and design, the knowledge that I assess about how I grew this channel from 33 subscribers to now close to 600 in less than eight months will be directly valuable and beneficial to helping you growing your YouTube channel to reaching the YouTube Partner Program. So as always, if you're brand new to Stretch Limbs channel, I invite you to like this video, smash subscribe, watch this podcast the entire way through, and then go back to the channel and check out a couple of my other most popular and recent videos just to help you get a little bit more context about all the different information that we'll be discussing over the course of the next couple months and years. In the last episode, I shared with you the strategy number one for YouTube channel audience growth is to release shorts with trending audio. This Reggie Returns video does not have any trending audio, which can be equally as effective for helping the viewer both to relate to the content as well as to the creator. Hobbles and his gang of puppy monsters playing fetch here at our favorite park has always ranked the most popular on Stretch Limbs YouTube channel shorts. And I do believe that it's these type of insights as to videos with the dogs playing fetch with the tennis ball that will inevitably help me as a creator to make better informed brand product decisions in the future that better serve and add value to Stretch Limbs artistic audience. In our last episode, I shared with you that shorts are likely to have a meteoric rise 
led to a very long sustaining plateau in video views, which can leave us really, really frustrated as creators at times. But it's important to understand that really this is just YouTube seeding your video out to the right audiences. And over periods of time with high click through rates and long watch hour retention, you will see increasing views, likes, and subscribers all in pursuit of really coiling up to help you build that initial seed audience that's gonna help you expand even further once you are accepted into the YouTube Partner Program for Monetization. So, the day that I recorded Reggie, I recorded three shorts here at the park because I know that our audience loves to watch the puppy videos. Daily Stretch 326 Reggie Returns was initially posted on December 19th at 9.56 a.m., but really only grew to 61 views by 3.56 p.m. So during that course of time, what I had done is released two more Puppy Monster shorts with original audio. And then at 2.56 from 61 views, by the time we reached 5.56, we had already run up to 1,674 views, thus giving us our initial viewership spike leading to that plateau, which then the plateau at 1,674 views plateaued at us over from 5.56, 6 o'clock p.m. until... 12.56 p.m. the next day where it went up to 1,702 views. And so over the course of that 18 hours, the viewership on the Reggie Returns video really grew uh, about 300 views, which is for any given short is still a reasonable metric. So from the time that I posted the video initially at 9.56 a.m., we didn't really see any substantial traction here until 2.56, which then we got our spike up to nearly 1,700 views and we plateaued for 18 hours. But during that 18 hours, we still grew 300 views which was really exciting. So what I was realizing was that the Reggie video was starting to make that wave that we talked about in our last podcast. And it was really important for me to see this wave through to see what we were gonna be able to do. Seeing as the previous most popular short here on Stretch Limbs channel was also this video of Hobbles the Monster playing fetch here at the park. I was willing to give the video of Reggie some grace to really see what we were gonna be able to build up together. And sure enough, at that 18 hour mark, 1701, uh, views. We had already gained eight subscribers. Now this, this was another reason why I let these uh, extra 18 hours really funnel in without putting out and releasing, delivering more shorts here on the channel is we started out and we had, we gained three subscribers by four o'clock that day. And then at our second plateau, being at uh, basically noon on the 20th when we were at 1,700 views, by the time we got to 7 p.m., we were now at we're now at 3,259 views, which also then increased us another five subscribers. So at this point, we were we had gained eight subscribers on the channel over the course of this two days. And so I really still wanted to see where this was going to go because as it was actually a case study in the last po podcast episode of These Scattered Memories, where I was saying your views are going to go and then plateau, and that can be frustrating. It was really important for me to get the data collection and, and start to see these aggregated view count numbers rise so that we can continue to hypothesize, uh, understand the data, and then do what we're doing here, which is just sharing with you the results as as we get them and what they possibly mean for the growth of the channel. At 11, between 11.56 a.m. to now 5.56 p.m., now we're up to 3,259, 3,300 views with that eight subscribers. And sure enough, Reggie did not disappoint. From 7.56 at 3,259 viewers and eight subscribers, 
over the course of the next two days from December 20th at 9 o'clock to December 22nd at 7 o'clock, we saw another meteoric rise, well, a slow rise, excuse me, not a meteoric rise, a very slow rise, but these are the types of videos that you really, when you have them going, you want to continue to pamper them and just let them do exactly what they're supposed to be doing. These are the types of videos that you're searching to put on your channel. Videos that people love that are going to do the work by themselves. As long as you as a creator are there to capture the moment and release it to the world, the audience will rejoice in that. And so... Now, over the course of this rise from from essentially 3,200 views to 48, almost 4,900 views, making it the most popular video on Stretch Limbs channel now, uh, roughly 1,000 views higher than the previous Hobble short was, we also amassed another eight subscribers during that time, taking us uh, gain of three subscribers, gain of five to eight, and then tick, 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 another eight subscribers that brought us up to 16 subscribers before we kind of inevitably met our more long-term plateau at uh, being the now being the no number one most popular short at 48 197 views, gaining 16 subscribers. Again, what's really important to remember is that on average, viewers watched 11 seconds or 130% of this short, which is going to keep the code that YouTube writes perpetuating your video to larger audiences as long as the audiences are watching your video the entire way through and then going back and watching some a little bit even more. So let this be your daily reminder that exactly what you are looking for is also looking for you. Stay beautiful, friends.